For the latest top tips, reviews and advice, please subscribe below. Hello and welcome to At Walls Outdoors with me, Mike. Today I'm giving you a bit of a review video on a new tent from Van Gogh. So with me here today, I have the Van Gogh Harris. So the Van Gogh Harris is available in two sizes. Uh, it's available in a 350 or a 500. So 350 is really going to be sort of a true free person, whereas the 500 is really kind of a squeeze of a five. Really, I see it more as a kind of a true four. They're virtually available in both a polled and an air version. We've done a separate video on the air version, and for that one, we've actually used the 500 size. And later on in this video, we will show you the actual 500 size in air just to give you a quick of a, a bit of a contrast between the size difference between the models. Now, really, the Harris takes over almost from uh, the Av Avington flow in terms of its design concept, uh, in terms of its style as well. Um, but there are a few updates that they've really put on to the Harris that I think that sort of sits it again almost the next stage up. First and foremost, the biggest change we see is the fact that we've changed the colour. So we're, we're now using this really quite nice sort of uh, mineral green. Um, now there's a bit of a story behind the mineral green fabric is actually as well. It's it's still kind of Van Gogh's sentinel material, but what they've actually done is they've kind of completely redone the dyeing process. So when they get the material itself, what they've managed to do is actually dye it um, at, at basically at the thread rather than when it's already pre-woven. Now, this is important because it does one of two things. Generally, by dyeing at a thread, it means that the colour actually is throughout the thread um, a bit more solidly. So the best sort of terminology I can probably use this is the difference between, say, a, a carrot and a radish. So when you dye a, a thread, you get a carrot effect. When you dye just the material once already pre-woven, then you're looking more down like a radish, i.e. you cut it in half, you have the coating colour on the outside, but it's still white in the middle. Now this is important because once sort of tents obviously uh, are out for UV for a, a period of time, they start to fade. And it's basically that outer coating is almost being sort of pulled away and you get a whiteness from the inside. So with the new way they've done the dyeing, by having it by sort of thread dyed, and naturally means that essentially that colours throughout it. So the colour retention is going to be a lot longer. So it's basically it's going to look sharper for longer. One of the other big benefits is actually it reduces about 60% um, of water that's actually used in the process. So it's a bit more eco-friendly, hence why this kind of material, even though it's in their central point, it's called um, eco colour lock. It's basically the technology they're using it. So you've got the ability of the colour of lasting longer, but the eco side of actually saving 6% of the water. So this concept of the Harris actually is kind of a free zone tent. So you've got a sort of sleeping, a living and an open canopy. We still have a 3000 mil waterproof rating, so it's really nice and sort of waterproof. Power flex, fiberglass poles, again, to keep it sort of lightweight, um, but also to give you know a relevant amount of stability. The poles are colour coordinated as well, and you can indicate that by the little tabs located on the side. So little black tabs will indicate the pole is solidly black, it goes there. The back one on the other hand is got a little grey tab, again in the grey section, it's distinguished when you get all the poles out, you know exactly what how to pitch it. You can of course check out our own little pitching video we've done on this um, by checking our YouTube channel, or obviously of course in the link below. The open canopy gives you enough room that you have sort of a little bit of a sheltered area away from the wind and rain. And also then moving to the back section, we've got this flat fronted door. So the joys of that is that you, you have a very vertical living section. So even though it's a small compact size, I think it generally works well. For me, I really quite like the fact that we've got a, um, a, a, a smaller 350 version rather than the 500. I think for me, this is probably a, a perfect couples tent. Small, compact, doesn't take too much space, and you've got some really great features throughout of it, which works really nicely. You've got a PVC window on the one side, and we've got a mesh um, sort of window on the other. The front door, as we see here, can obviously be completely enclosed up. It's, it sort of opens from right to left. Well, yeah, as, as you look at it. <laughs> um, so it opens halfway, or fully. Now, built into this, you've actually got a physical mesh panel as well, and then you can get the coverage from the inside as and when you see fit. In fact, it's kind of, we'll bring the camera around actually, make a bit more of an impression, give you a bit more of an idea about it. That seems fine to me. So, 
as you can say, we've got um, the ability of zipping up when we, we've got the ventilation directly through. Now it's, it's basically the it, same on one side as the other, so you've got almost two mesh panels with that rain safe canopy door, so you can have airflow in, even if the weather just changes, you haven't got to worry about it as such. You've got curtains, which are basically the same as the fabric. Those zip up inside, so again, you can get your coverage completely from that. So if you want that privacy, or even that, you know, just keep the wind directly out, zip that up quite nice and neatly. And again, you can bring it down almost halfway, so you can have a little bit of privacy, but still some airflow directly in. Now, the joy with the Harris is the fact that actually the door opens up fully if you wanted to. So again, if you want to really kind of give yourself more of an open plan sort of to space, merely unzip it. Go fully back. So to undo this clip a second, there's a little retainer clip there, just kind of keeping that at bay. So we can unzip that, unpeg this, and then that whole section again rolls back a bit further. And there's still toggle points again to keep it nice and neatly. So what you've got here is obviously the ground sheet section. It sort of folds down or folds up. So you can get that sort of flat entrance in and out of the tent or toggle it up to get that sort of seal. So again, you get the best of both worlds. It's a small compact size. You know, you can easily get a chair and a table directly in it, which again works quite nicely. Um, but headroom wise, it works quite smartly. The rear bedroom uses, um, you know, a nice darker sort of tint to it to get a little bit more cut out early morning light. Um, but generally you've got little storage pockets built down here as well. Really, you've got more space in the 350 because you've got about 70 centimeters per person. When you move to the 500, really it's 60 centimeters per person. So really this main body is about 210 in the main sleeping area where it's 300 with the 500. So yeah, it's a little bit contrasting, hence the kind of three and a half size because it's sort of a true three, whereas the five is really a four. Other things to mention is low level ventilation. So both on both sides of the window, we've got airflow directly in. So the joys of this is again, that you have circulative air, even when say, we've got sort of the privacy curtains directly up. That same scenario we had on the front door, we've also got on the side door. So again, we've got that adjustable um, mesh window with the coverage to get that seal when we, and as we want it. Other things that are quite nice about the Harris is that we've got um, TBS, so tension band system, which Van Gogh do, gives a bit more instability on those kind of when weather conditions are a bit windier, um, gives a bit more internal bracing, creates a triangle formation from the top out to the side of the garment, so that way if you've got wind coming from one side, it braces the corner and keeps a bit more stability and shape to it. Something that probably most people don't tend to use, but it's quite nice to have you leaning tent unattended for a while where you find yourself a bit more exposed out in the field. Hanging point for lanterns located in the middle and also one just above the front door on the inside. Other things is actually, which is again, sits this a little bit different in terms of specification to the rest of kind of the um, Sentinel range in a similar kind of mineral green color is you've got Skytrack. So this is suddenly allows you to have a, not only a hanging point for a lantern with a normal, but you can actually put like a storage pocket directly down or run a light along it. You've got a lot more flexibility with that, which is quite unique that you wouldn't really see it in this sort of tent. Again, it's one of those things that sits above its previous Avington. Another thing as we mentioned is cable entry points down here, nice and low. So you can have mains hook up into the tent without having to worry about leaving the door fully open. Um, but I'll tell you what, let's have a look inside with the camera and get more of a feel for it. There's also a bigger rear vent as well, but we'll start at the side. So again, nice sort of canopy. It's, it's quite straight in there, so you can almost get a little bit of a stove in there or have a bit more shelter away. We've got those clean entrance directly in. It's one solid, one continuous door for the front section there as well. And then we've got those low level ventilations as previously mentioned and that mesh window with a middle point even to keep it nice and tidy. Hanging points as well as the uh, color coordinated bedroom toggles. Sky track located there and there's even little Velcro tabs so you run uh, your kind of cable directly to your main hookup point which I said earlier was located there. The darker kind of uh, nightfall bedrooms work really well. Again a hanging point located in the middle. Ventilation panel high and I'll show you ventilation panel low in a second. And then we've got storage pockets 
on kind of both sides as it looks. So the joys of that is we can, you know, put things like torches and keys and phones and stuff like that, easily accessible without having to worry about necessarily where they are. As we look at the slightly larger model of the 500, it's basically the same features throughout all of it, just the fact that everything is obviously scaled up a little bit in terms of size. So we now move to two bedroom comp compartments. So, um, and again, the divider is sort of bang on 50-50. There is a toggle point, so you can make it kind of a two on one side and a three on the other. But you've got the same concept with one solid window and then one mesh window. And again, the mesh front section works really quite nicely. As I said earlier, this is the kind of the uh, the air version of it, but you get kind of the idea from a size point of view. But one thing else I would like to point out is the ventilation point at the rear. It's again one of the key things. Back when it was, the Aventon was available, it's called the Aventon Flow, mainly for this reason. Really nice big ventilation point directly at the back of the awning, I tend to say, just to keep increase airflow. So you've got your high vent and your low, and you can actually fully open this up if you wanted to and roll it up so you can just have our airflow air directly in and a little bit of a sight into it or you can kind of gusset it out like we have here so it doesn't matter what the weather's doing you still have the increased airflow while retaining um, your privacy and water tightness really all in all obviously a lot of talking points there and i've probably gone on a bit a little bit too long um, but it gives you a bit more idea about all of the in-depth features uh, and little tweaks to kind of the uh, Van Gogh Harris. For me, it's a really nice improvement, something that I think that Van Gogh done really nicely with, you know, being more sustainable with saving water, but giving you a, a better product because of it, not just doing it for the sake of doing it. There's a pure reason behind it in terms of getting that color retention. The new color is definitely something a bit different, a bit lighter, quite quirky, I think it's more I wouldn't say feminine because I didn't. I wasn't sure about it at first. I'm being honest with you, but I think it's, it's definitely grown on me more and more. And it's nice to see a contrast. Contrast, not just a blue or a green or a grey. It's a little bit different, something a bit more out there. And I think certainly with the feature spec of the Harris, I do really quite like all the little bits it has going for it. So I think for me, the 350 is probably my favourite. Just I think it takes a big box um, for someone who wants something well specced. Couples, even small families, or you know. And then you've also got the option of the large version, both in polled and air. So check out our air one. We talk about the system. It's very much the same, just obviously with the airframe structure. But any more questions or queries, you want any more information, of course, follow the link below this video. It'll take you straight through to our website. We've got all the information on specifications, pack sizes, floor dimensions, uh, weights, um, all those stuff. Uh, touch a button, as well as the latest offers that kind of we are doing on the Harris. Thank you very much, much for watching. Hopefully we should see you again soon. And that's been our video review of the Van Gogh Harris in the Pold model in the 350 and also the 500.